Yo, what's up YouTube? Apple here. I know it's been a long time since I've made anything on here. Um, I apologize for not having any Apple look stuff up. Um, I would say life has been quite busy in a good way uh, for me lately. I've been taking a lot of college courses and doing other fun stuff like that. And um, recently I've been watching a YouTuber, which I'll link in the description. Um, his name is... Uh, the real civil engineer and he has been playing this game and it got me really into playing it again myself and uh, because of his videos I've just been going ham playing this and recently I made a bridge for this one here called crossed paths um, I made this butte which uh, here I will uh, speed this up so you can see car goes across and then I have it rotate across, connect, and then the truck can go across there. So what my hope and plan is, is I can show you the process in which I did this. Um, because, uh, yeah, this was not easy. And I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I can do this in a more um, efficient way, a better way, um, or even in just a different way. So yeah, uh, that's what I, I want to try and do and see if I can uh, accomplish that or not. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, without much further ado, uh, let's see if I can recreate what I did here uh, and kind of explain how I'm going about it. Um, so first things first, um, I'm going to turn this back. In. So I had to reinforce some stuff because that swinging motion caused certain joints to snap and break when it latched into place. It was like a little too much G-forces for it. Um, but when I first started, I basically just did this um, and saw... Now, I don't think this will hold. Oh, it does. Well, sort of. Um, unfortunately, because I'm not using any bracing points here, um, it doesn't quite hold. However, when I have the hydraulics on there, uh, that provides enough um, stability for this bridge to still stand. Um, so anyway, how do I do these freaking hydraulics? Well, it's a kind of a two-part system. Um, you can't just put a hydraulic to here and tell it to like push this up and it'll just magically move over there. Um, I wish it were that easy, uh, believe me. And unfortunately, these can only push or pull 50% of its total length. And the longest it can be is like four meters or like 4.04 meters. So um, the most you can contract is two, the most you can expand is two, and that's if you're using a full-sized um, hydraulic. So what I found that works really well is doing kind of a pulley system uh, seems to work the best. Uh, thankfully, each of these little yellow dots here um, are hinge points where it can just free float kind of hinge like a ball bearing um, hinge kind of a thing. Um, it makes life a little bit easier. Um, yeah, and just so I can see, because I want to try and do this a little bit differently. All right, so I have this is my lever arm here. What I want to try and do is see if I can do the same idea, except have this be the lever arm and then this here contracts. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, um, but you know, why not, why not give it a shot and see what happens. So once again, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, turn that back to normal road, put some wood in. All right. So how on earth am I going to do that? Um, what I do first, is I create a bridge of where I want it to end up being. So if I do this, uh, that gives me an idea of where these first three triangles, or I guess five triangles, are going to end up. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. Let's see. And, eh, screw it, doesn't matter. Actually, it kind of does. So copy, flip. There we go, and we'll just do that. All right, so we have an idea of what both ends of this bridge are going to look like once I'm done doing my hydraulic magic. All right, 
So if I want this to be the hinge or the, the lever arm now, um, what I need to figure out is if I were to pull, so if I were to start here and then this were to get pulled towards this point here, um, what point on this bridge do I want to be attached to? Now, like I said, you can only have this be, so I don't, I think this is why I didn't use this as the lever arm. This is as far as this lever arm can be away from here. Um, and the problem is if I pull this back and I need it to like pull this up this way, it's, it's just not going to pull this up. Um, I can't attach to any of these top ones because um, gravity for, for reasons it won't uh, push. I can't have it just like magically push these up above where my lever arm is. So I can't use any of these points here. Um, if I were to attach it to one of these two down here, the problem is this length, there's no way that this can get rotated in such a way that it'll have the same length as 3.33 meters or 3.22 meters. Um, that's just impossible. So that's probably why I didn't use this as a hinge point for, or a, as a lever arm from here to there as much as I would have probably found that to be somewhat efficient. It just isn't going to do the trick for me. Um, so I can't do that. Um, hmm. Just to, cause I, I like to experiment. So there's no way I can do it from here. Uh, reason being is that this lever arm never ends up being above any of the hinge points here on this top bridge. So I can't use that as a lever arm. So it leaves me with literally the only option is to use this as my lever arm and then this is pushing that lever arm along the circle. So that's the best way to think of it. If you were to push this lever along this circle, where do you want it to start and where do you want it to end and then which point on the bridge do you want it to be holding on to? Um, now you don't want the ink. So th the big thing is you want your, um, you want to try and see if you can find something where the, um, the connector, I I'll guess I'll call it the connector rod. So you're going to have a lever arm and then this is going to connect to some point here. You don't want this angle to be too extreme, like in this direction or it's not even so much the angle with this so much as it's, you don't want this connector rod to be going too far off from the vertical. Reason for that is gravity. Gravity, so like even with this here, gravity is gonna wanna swing this to the left. Um, and if that swing is a little too violent, um, it creates a great deal of stress and G forces on this entire system. Um, so like for instance here, if I were to, if I had a connector rod like that, this would just immediately want to swing real hard this direction um, and would cause the whole bridge to probably slam into this car here. I actually have a similar issue on this side. I actually kind of have to make it swing to the left so that this corner doesn't smack into the top of the car as it's because you can't have it just go straight from here to here because the top of the stupid truck here gets in the way and that impact with the top of the truck will snap all sorts of fun stuff over here. So you kind of want it to swing and then come down. Um, so you do want a little bit of a swing action, but I think this is going to create too much swing action um, just to for for the fun of it we can try and see what'll happen now i think this is too far away so if i bring this down there we go um let's let's make this like the max there we go okay so if i were to do something like this and i push this point up here where does this lever arm need to be where this 
length of steel is going to be the same from that part of the circle to this point here. Um, so first off, we need to measure this. So that's 2.39 meters. So if I take this, so 2.33, so eyeballed it pretty close. 2.36, 2.39. So what we want is to push this up to where it eventually ends up here. Now the problem is, how far is that? 5.74. So this might actually work. Um, so now we figure out, so this is 3.98 and that is 5.74. So how much does it need to expand to get to 5.74? So if we take the difference between these two, um, we get 1.76, if my math is correct. Because um, if you take this and subtract 1.74, um, you're gonna get four even, and then there's still 0 0.02 left over. So yeah, 1.76. So, as you can see here, it tells me it's gonna expand by 1.99. What did I say? 1.76. So it's either 1.75 or 1.79. So I'm gonna go with the one that's closest and see what'll happen. Um, but yeah, that should push this lever arm here up to here. And then now that the problem is that's still an extreme angle like it's um it's gonna put a lot of pressure on whatever lever i have on this side here to kind of keep this angle on this side because this naturally is going to want to swing down to where it's here and that's why like for me i would probably prefer to hinge off of this point here um, but this is maybe a proof of concept of uh, and these are like all the little things that you have to think about in this game engineering wise um, but theoretically that should work I really don't think it's going to but you know what we're gonna have some fun with this video I apologize this video might go super long I do not plan on editing the heck out of this video at all um, well maybe someday I'll stop being lazy and I'll actually edit my videos and cut out all the extra BS in between, but today is unfortunately not that day. Um, all right, so on this side, um, what's weird is I'm gonna have to have my lever now come off of here. Um, and the reason for that is that I'm run into basically the same problem. My hydraulic can only go this far. Um, if I were to use this as a lever arm and I were to have my hydraulic arm be here, it would have to, this is as far as it can go. Um, and as you can see, you have like a distance of what, 1.14. There's no way I'm going to have that be able to reach. Um, and then if I were to do that, that's way too extreme of an angle right there. And again, that'll probably cause all sorts of issues. I mean, we can try it. We can do what I think won't work. And if it does work, I will just be thrilled. Um, but I really doubt it. So 2.33 there. No, 2.33. Let's see. Can we find a spot here that's about... Man, that's barely going to move. That's 2.22. Yeah, this is gonna this is probably gonna end up in carnage 2 point three five 2.32 come on there we go 2.33 all right so literally this is barely going to move um, so if we were to take a hydraulic to there, so we were going to go from four to three point th or four point oh one to three point three one, so it needs to contract by 0. 0.7 meters. So if I were to do this and have it barely contract, so it looks like I have to either go with uh, sure. All right, so. Get rid of that 
uh, get rid of all of this. We're gonna we're gonna see if this will work. I really doubt it. But all right, so that's gonna swing down here, and <laughs> this is this isn't really being a hydraulic at this point. This is this is literally a swing. It's just gonna swing. <laughs> this is gonna this is probably gonna turn out really badly. Um, but if it works, I'm gonna be very pleasantly surprised and happy. Um, so something to keep in mind, you have these um, joints here. So what these joints do is um, they allow things to attach and uh, detach and reattach. Um, and you can tell it, like you can, you can do it here in the middle so that when it says, oh, we're gonna split, it'll just create a split right here and then this side will stay together and that side will stay together. You can also do that here. And so what'll end up happening is this is gonna stay locked, but it allows for anything to attach to it. So this and this is gonna detach and as this swings down, um, or as this swings down, this should swing into there um, is the, the thought process anyway. Again, I really don't think this is gonna work but this might be hilarious, so let's see. Oh yeah, no. Oh wait, did that not detach? That's attached. Huh. That's weird. Something, no, the hydraulics are attached to that. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, the hyd hydraulic controller was all messed up there. Sorry about that. Um, but as you can see, this thing just wanted to immediately swing in that direction. As you can tell, like I said, these, these here are in such a manner that it's causing it to want to swing that way. Now, something I could think of is if I were to instead have an arm that connects to here maybe the counteracting swinging like this side wants to swing that way and this side wants to swing this way and it'll kind of counterbalance each other potentially um that's always a possibility so we can try that um so if we did something like this now we have to once again we have to figure out our math so let's go ahead and copy that Put that there, put that there. Right, let's put some wood here so I know what I'm doing. At least I think I know what I'm doing. All right, cool. So if it's attached to here, where, uh, how long is that? Two meters? So 2.016, ooh. How far is that gonna have to go? That's a really awkward, like, cause this is like equal distance. Like it is, it's like in the the radius of this thing here. Uh, is it gonna be there? Okay, 2.03, that's close. 2.03, 2.04. All right, so. We need to, no, I don't even know if this could reach there. Oh, it's in the freaking max. All right. So 3.98. So I've got it to go, has to go the full. Oof. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm going to probably have to, yeah. Doing that though, just kind of screwed with everything. Um, now that is 2.1 so I need to adjust this to be 2.1 now there we go all right that is an extreme angle there um, but maybe because they're counteracting each other it'll work um, I really don't think it's going to but um, I mean, technically speaking, when this pushes up to there, uh, let's see, how far is this? 5.83, so I need it to go 1.8. Let's see. 
1.81. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Um, and we'll leave this sign. We'll see. Like I said, um, don't think this is going to work, but we'll try. So that's locked in. That's locked in. That's locked in. And then that is all locked in. All right. Oof. Oh, so because I have everything supported on the ends here, the middle here is having some issues structurally. Okay, what is happening here? Let's, let's slow this down. So I think this is hitting the top of the truck. Oh no, it's it's buckling before it hits the truck. All right, Add a little bit more. And that one's buckling as well. And now I'm running out of stuff. Now, technically you can just use hydraulics as a piece of steel. It's just, it's ex really expensive. This is probably going to buckle next. Nope, that one buckled. Hmm. So yeah. Now the problem I'm having is it seems like it's going to swing into place. But because these hydraulics are supporting the bridge from the very ends, the middle is being placed under an extreme amount of stress. Um, and it's just not being able to hold up um to all those those stresses because uh, essentially this is pull, pushing in this direction and applying a force in this direction here and then this is applying a force in this direction and it's just causing a ton of compression on these joints or on these uh pieces of wood here these cross beams and it's causing them to buckle um so i think it was a not a horrible idea to have these like forces applying in this direction um, counter to each other but I think it just isn't going to work unfortunately um, hmm all right so back to the drawing board so I think we have to kind of go back to what I did before so once again um, use this as my my lever arm and I think what I have to do is I'm going to have to have it be from uh, this point here. So let's go ahead and copy that. Put that on both ends so I can see what I'm doing. All right. So lever arm from this one here. Um, do something like that. So what was that length? 1.12, all right, 0.99, and we got 1.12. So this will go up to here. It's not as extreme. It's gonna be pulling this direction um, as opposed to pushing in that direction. Uh, wood tends to do better under compression, but the weight I'm thinking it's going to help off offset the weight of the bridge kind of compressing on the wood. So, um, yeah, now if we were to put a hydro to here and we want it to push out to there and we do that 5.55, 3.84. Ooh, that's going to be like almost max. Um, that, why is that math so hard to me? So 1.55 plus 0.16, 1.61, uh, one meters. I don't know if I can get this to go that far. No, I can. Uh, do we overdo it or underdo it? Probably gonna have to overdo it. So 1.73, that should push that up to there. Let's see how that works. Okay, so that side's done. Let's see if that'll work. Um, and then on this end, this is gonna have to be our pivot point. Um, and again, I kind of want it to be pulling 
to offset the fact that this one is pulling. Um, hmm. So that's like the most extreme that I can go there. Um, Cause that's as far as that'll go. I feel like that's too steep of an angle there. So I'm gonna have to go off of here and I can't get above either or any of these top points. So we're gonna have to do something like that. All right, so 1.18. Uh, 1.18, perfect, just like that. So this is gonna turn into that and it's going to be kind of pushing it that way. So this this whole bridge will swing a bit to the left. Hopefully not so hard that it's going to smack the freaking truck or the, the car here. But on the plus side, it might swing it hard enough to where it'll keep this from slamming into the top of the truck here. All right, so let's figure out how far we need to go. So this is 3.99 meters, and it needs to go... Um, out to here 5.75 so 1.76 meters is how far I needed to expand uh, we'll go a little under 1.79 is a little mm, I don't know about that well, we'll try a little under since we're going a little over on this side and see if that'll work um, fortunately you can't get any more accurate than that All right, there we go so Lock this in place, lock that in place, lock that in place, lock that in place. Those will detach, that's gonna detach. All right, let's see what happens. Do it in super slow-mo. So as you can see, like I said, it's, it was gonna swing, but it's not swinging so hard that it hit the car. Perfect. And that's pulling that up nicely. That's pu pushing that way. I think this might work. Dink. Oh, dink. So that just broke because there was a lot of force going into there. Um, so let's go ahead and reinforce that. We're going to speed this up just a little bit more. Dink, dink, dink. Ah, yeah. There's a lot of force involved in this. Like, I, I almost wish there was a way I could control the speed of the hydraulic. Like, just make it a little bit slower. The only other thing I could think of trying to do is, like, attaching some, like, maybe attaching some rope to some of this, but... There we go, that worked, and nothing else snapped. Um, so as you can see, I need to adjust some things. So what I need to do is I need to remove all the hydro on part A so that car B can then go. And then on part C, I need all of them to go, allowing the truck to then go. All right, so let's speed this up so I know the car will make it across. And the truck... Ooh. All right. So we just need to reinforce that right there. Just throw a piece of steel in there. That truck was just a little too chonky. There we go. Truck goes across. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, last piece of steel. Throw that there. There we go. Shabam. Nice. 10% as well. Um, let's do that one more time. We're going to put this in like super slow-mo. So you guys can appreciate this. So 100%. Let's get the car across here. And then as soon as he gets across, we'll slow this down so you guys can see the hydraulics in action. So as you can see, both hinges detach it sort of swings to the left a little bit this is pushing up allowing this lever to go in a circular motion 
This one is pushing this in a, also in a circular motion, levering it off to this direction. And as soon as this touches, dink, and then dink. And allowing our, our little truck here to safely make it across. High stress, but whatever, we made it work. Well, I hope you guys appreciate and like this video. Um, I hope this was insightful for anyone trying to play this game, figuring out hydraulics. Hydraulics are insanely difficult to figure out. Um, I, I, man, um, it took me a long time to figure this out. I just had to kind of step back and think about what my hydraulics are actually doing. Um, and yeah, uh, I hope this was insightful, entertaining, fun. Hopefully soon I can start making more content and doing things like going back to looking stuff up and doing a little, little diet tribes on that. But um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your, I'm posting this on Sunday. So have a great rest of your weekend if you're watching this on Sunday. Otherwise, have a great week. Um, and uh have a hopefully a nice three day or maybe if you're lucky a four day weekend next weekend and uh yeah thank you guys so much i love you all have a great one bye